Hi everybody, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to make snow in Anime Studio. Starting out with a black background, I'm going to create a new vector layer. And first thing we'll do is make a snowflake, uh, just a circle, white circle. And I am going to select the shape using the uh, shape tool. I just did the quick key command Q and I'm gonna make a soft edge on it it's already set to 2 so when you render it it's a little bit blurry and then I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit and hit command C to copy and command V to paste to make another one and then command V again to make one more and now I'm just going to add a little bit of animation movement back and forth to simulate slight wind so it doesn't just fall straight down or the snowflakes don't fall straight down. So we'll go to frame one, select the first snowflake. Actually, we'll select all of them. Um, I hit uh, G, which is the shortcut for select points, dragged over all three of the snowflakes, then hit T to transform, and that creates the first frame for them. And we'll go to frame 24, I'm going to hit G to select, left click and drag over the first one, hit T to move uh, the first snowflake slightly to the right, G, select, T, Move the second snowflake to the left a little bit. And then G, drag over and select, hit T to transform and move this one to the right. Then, since we've created keyframes for the movement, well, we want them to go back to their original position. So what we can do is select all of the points by selecting Command A and then selecting the first keyframes that we made with the original positions. Do a command C for copy, then go to frame 48 and paste. So now you can see they just move back and forth from frame 1 to 48. And what we want to do is to have this animation loop. So we're going to select the last frames, hit your right mouse button, and hit cycle. And we want to cycle to frame two. The reason we don't want to go all the way back to one is because if we do one, it'll repeat the 48th frame and the one will be exactly the same, so it'll kind of stutter. So we want it to look like one continuous looping motion. So put in frame two for the looping. So if we play the animation, you can see the snowflakes just go back and forth continually. So now what we need to do is put these snowflakes in a particle layer so we can make hundreds of snowflakes. And what we'll do is go to frame zero, go over here to the layers palette and select particle layer. And let's name this snowflake so we know what we're working on. The snowflakes layer. Drag the snowflakes layer into the particles and when you have the particle layer selected, you can see it looks crazy, it doesn't look like anything like uh, snow. So what we want to do is, while the animation is playing, you can just hit spacebar and let it play. And if the particle layer is selected, you can see there's particle options up here. We're going to go ahead in here and just change some of these attributes. So we'll change the particle count to 400, and we want to see all 400 of those in the previews. And then we're going to change the uh, lifetime of the frames to 999. That's just so the snowflakes don't just randomly disappear. We want to make sure that they play all the way through the uh, animation. And then for the source height, let's go ahead, or I'm sorry, the width. Let's change that to about 7. Let's 
see. We, we need it to go across the entire screen. So let's do seven. We want to make sure, let me zoom out a little bit. You can see that the um, snowflakes go way beyond the sides, but that's okay. We want it to do that. Source height. We don't need any height because we're just making the snowflakes fall straight down. So it doesn't matter how high they are or how high the uh, spread is. And then source depth. We want to change a little bit so they're different sizes. As you can see, if I change the source depth, um, some of the snowflakes are bigger and some are smaller. And we want to change that to about four-ish. You can play with these settings to make it look how you want. Um, and velocity, let's turn that down so it's a little slower. Leave it like that. And then velocity spread. Let's go 0.2. And now what we need to do is make sure that the snowflakes are falling down. So let's change the uh, direction to straight down, which is 270. And then the acceleration is already pointing down, so we don't need to change that. Let's change the spread to 0 and the rate to 0 also. And then let's stop the animation for a second, go back to zero. Let's go ahead and use the transform layer tool and put the snowflake layer above the canvas. So when they're generated, they're generated off the screen. So when we hit play, you can see that everything, all the snowflakes are being generated up here. So on your screen, they'll show up for the entire animation. That's way too fast, so let's go ahead and with the animation playing, go into particle options and change this velocity maybe. Slow that down. That looks better. So we'll keep... That looks pretty good. Um, we'll speed it up a little bit. I like that right there, so 0.5. But just play with the settings until it looks like how you want it to look. And that's pretty much it for making snow. I'll show you what it looks like after it's rendered. I'm going to go ahead and throw a picture uh, behind it so you can get the full effect of what it looks like. Go back to frame zero so you can add artwork and go to add image. And I just found this picture online. I didn't create this. This is just for the tutorial purposes. Just an anime picture. Let's make that a little bigger. Put that on the very bottom. Turn off my black background layer. And then I'll go ahead and render this out and show you the final product. Okay, here's the final product. Uh, I just rendered it half half the frames, so it's not very good quality, but you can see uh, what it looks like on a still image. And that's it. If you have any questions, just uh, uh, shoot me an email.